ओम शांति अव्यक्ति परिवार में ओम शांति वेलकम टू अव्यक्ति परिवार टुडे इज डे नाइन मन मना भव टुडे इज टॉपिक इज प्लीज योर माइंड अव्यक्त सिग्नल इम्बाइब द वर्चूज ऑफ स्वीटनेस एंड ह्यूमिलिटी विद स्वीटनेस गिव अ विजन ऑफ क्लोजनेस टू द फादर sweetness in your thoughts sweetness in your words and sweetness in your actions is closeness to the father this is why the father says every day sweet sweet children and the children respond sweet sweet baba therefore these sweet words every day make you sweet and now we we'll listen to mohini didi ओम शांति सच ब्यूटिफुल थिंग्स वी गेट टू लिसन ऑन स्वीटनेस बाबा एवरी डे इन मुरली बाबा से स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन एंड वी ऑल्सो से स्वीट बाबा so inside there is internally we get so much of happiness as soon as we say sweet baba so there is an experience of happiness also and closeness as well so i am really liking it when it is the matter of having the silence of mind then yes we do not have to think ways that is right but true silence is when when you experience any one stage just like i today i observed that internally there was a lot uh, what is my i i observed my eternal form so in my soul conscious i have to stabilize myself in soul conscious state so with a lot of depth i started practicing internally so then the mind became quiet because whenever there is an experience of some practice so then our silence is not just that we do not have to think but in our silence the soul receives power there is stability that comes and as if there is internal super sensuous joy and like i said i have said it also and i saw it also that the battery gets charged throughout the day we keep on using the battery right through the mind through words through actions through eyes and and through every sense organ the battery of the soul is used so man mana bhav there is it is also a, a stage of bodiless stage so like yesterday when i was offering bhog to baba so baba said that matter is made of five elements so go beyond that that i am a soul this is the body of matter and then if you really want to go beyond then there are five elements so you st- one starts having that subtle experience that i am in the subtle region and in the subtle region there are no elements there is the experience of the angelic stage so the silence of the mind that is there that cannot be forced just like i see when it is the when sleep is there so many times you want to sleep but you cannot sleep and so many times you do not want to sleep but you are sleepy so the mind also that it be, 
quietens or it becomes silent it's internally so it's like a practice there should be a pull for one or the other stage so like today throughout the day so many times eternal stage peace and love so many times we are not having thoughts but the thoughts are still there one is that we are creating thoughts on our own but they say that oh, but internally we say we don't we're not thinking but but if we go deeper there is some or the other thought that is there well, it's not necessary that it is based only it might be necessary thought but there is a thought so if with depth we realize what is silence and what is um, so if we pay attention to it and i think we need it we shouldn't think that oh, okay uh, we don't have any waste thoughts we just stay very quiet but we really have to do practice and when the practice is accurate then internally there is a lot of contentment and then there is sweetness also that comes from there so in the same way then it is like pleasing your mind so they say right pleasing the ears sometimes so many people have this habit of listening a lot they if you listen to good things it is very good but everyone has uh, so many times people have interest in listening we want to listen to everything we want to know everything and then i always say that whatever is necessary if we know that much baba tells that much because the more we listen to the more we will listen and the more thoughts will come so there's a lot of effort then that has to be made so whatever is necessary for the yagya whatever so we will definitely get to know because then there is the responsibility but there is no interest in the same way some people like to talk a lot there is pleasing of the mouth they cannot stay quiet but the pleasing your mind for anything if someone has about uh, singing someone likes to paint whatever someone in which the mind is pleased by doing it when we come to baba then we have we please our mind because of gyan knowledge because of yoga because of dharana because of service all these things please our mind and whatever the mind is pleased with then to become that also becomes very easy you will see from childhood they ask they ask in a family what do you want to be some say that i want to be a doctor some say engineer some won't even say anything then but the family members would say this one will become a doctor but if it's not there in the mind then they're not able to but if they have it so this is also a sincerity of the mind just like they say being merged in love so that is kind of a pleasing that's there is a uh, whatever uh whatever kind of food anyone likes so then there is that uh taste in that so there is so where should our mind be at this time only in praising baba baba's relationships that baba is uh, baba is the we are so fortunate baba is the teacher baba is satguru that how we are uh, getting um, sustenance we are in the land of sorrow but we experience happiness there is no sorrow but if we just if we want to take sorrow then they can be sorrow in everything so the pleasing of the mind that helps us to become that also i really like it when baba says roop basant become roop and basant that that we should be the embodiment also meaning whatever we say also that should be like pearls whatever words we say 
because when you belong to Baba, that you will see all Baba's uh, children. Their embodiment is very peaceful, they're uh, very pure. It, their life is very sorted out. Their, their personality is very sorted out. I've seen it so much. Anyone that is a BK, their embodiment, their form, because in their form, there is Baba, there is knowledge, Baba's qualities. Okay, if it is not 100% in someone, but everyone has some or the other percentage. But still, this awareness is there that we are Baba's children. No one forgets that, that we are Baba's children. Whatever, there would be some scars that would act from time to time. But that also one gets to know from the embodiment that these are God's children. And then from words also, when we say Om Shanti, Baba word emerges. So then we will practice this tomorrow and we will pay attention that where does my mind go? Where does the mind get happiness still? Where is it getting pleased from? In God's family, in God's knowledge, or in Lokik, or in the Lokik family? Or in the Lokik world, we see internally now that we see that everyone has unlimited uh, disinterest and everyone has the sincerity of becoming perfect. So we will pay attention to pleasing of the mind and we will practice manmanabhav and we'll combine it with rupasand and we'll uh, combine it with pleasing of the mind and we'll practice it. Om Shanti. Man mana bhav. Please your mind. To listen and to become is to please your mind. The mantra you are given is man mana bhav. To focus your mind on the father. When your mind is occupied with something, it is easy to become an embodiment of that. For example, when wherever you are sitting, when your mind goes towards something of joy and happiness, your form would become like that. So manras means your mind becomes the form of whatever is occupying your mind. Om Shanti.